this is bbi channel one my name is queen madu and you're welcome to another segment of reason with queen so i saw a very hilarious video of harry song where he was saluting the first class citizens of nigeria you know a very hilarious video and i'll definitely show you the video okay now harry Stan made a video where cows we are coming who knows where they are coming from definitely you know they've not yet banned open grazing in a lot of states and even some states that they banned open grazing the flanny headsmen have like they've you know fight they are fighting the states you know to take over their land and um a lot of people are dying because of this and all that so harry song saw some first class citizens because when they kill a cow the presidency will react but when they kill human beings because of cows nobody says anything you know and um her son was you know saluting them it was a very hilarious video and um it was also a very painful video that in 2021 nigeria is still dragging about open grazing and, and how to ban open grazing and people are losing their life and dying you know sometimes i just i just wonder where where did we get it wrong what have we done to deserve this this wickedness called a government like what did we do this people have plunged us back to like 50 years backward like we are backward in 2021 where some countries are talking about having electrical cars cars that that that, that drive themselves you know a kind of robot kind of cars and we are still talking about banding open grazing thousands of years practice where people had the, the um, headsmen going around with stick and everything right here in nigeria it's still being deliberated they are still talking about how they are going to give people give them land to ranch and do you know the ironical thing? They use Igbos as example that after all, Igbos are in the north and they are selling spare parts. Thank you very much for having that double standard mindset. Gentlemen, I present to you the senior citizens of Nigeria. <laughs> sirs, you can have the way, sirs. No heat, please. No heat. Please be careful with enter, enter, stop since you know that Igbos are selling spare parts in the north, my dear, Igbos pay for their space to sell that spare part. If indeed you know that cow business, and you know it's a business, it's a private business, why can't you people rent lands or buy them? If in, why do you want people to give you thousands and thousands of hectares of land for free? Who will not be? Who do you people think you are? Like you just feel that you are, you guys are the are the uh, the uh, first class citizens in Nigeria. I don't understand. There some people are inferiors that you deserve. These people, the way they make it feel like anyway, they always say that the country belongs to them. Usman uh, Nafu they told them that the country belongs to them. I don't know where they got this funny hypocritical theory from. And who do I blame? Lord Lugard, because if he did not make us with madness, this thing will not be happening before all this madness before this 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 contraption this this mistake of a country was created everybody we are on their own we had we had biafra we had odudua and Ariel. go and read about your history so that when people are when people are agitating for some certain things you know where they are coming from you understand it's not born out of their uh, emotions it's born out of the real deal going back down to your ancestral name is not even right now what they know how fully fool i am telling you the simple truth it's as if we are lost because when you're not answering your original name you are actually lost nigeria is not our original name it was formed by one white man and his girlfriend where they were rubbing his head that was where that name came from and you can see right from when it was created to this point it has been from one trouble to the other nothing good is actually coming out from this place and the most painful part is that this country <coughs> is very blessed so blessed and it's so unfortunate that wicked people with biased mindset has just uh, decided to just destroy this place because of you know a uh, uh, selfish interest eh? that is why we are here that is why we are where we are 
where cows are now important than human beings and to think human beings are the ones that consume these things no respect no regard for human life again there was a day i was just thinking like what is the world of an average nigerian today 30 people are dead in jaws tomorrow 20 people were bombed in medugri next tomorrow 80 people were kidnapped in castina one niche some people died in a boring state the other day travelers were kidnapped the other day travelers were beheaded the other day rice people we are beheaded people like it's it's, it's it's like a norm. You wake up in the morning, you are seeing this horrible, painful, heart wrenching news, and the government sees it as nothing. In fact, they don't even care. And I second what Deji said when he said that APC is a terrorist organization. And I agree because when you are quiet in the face of treachery, in the face of wickedness, banditry is, is, is second to none in Nigeria. Banditry is like, is, is, is like a norm now that it got to a point. They attacked a defense academy and killed two generals. If, 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 if they can attack it, we see, what it remain? What it remain? Like these people, these people operate with impunity. They do whatever they like. Kidnap is not, when I was when I was when I, when I was much younger, kidnap is, 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 is like a sacred word. It, it hardly happens. If you hear that they kidnap somebody, like it's like you'll be shot. But now it's like a normal thing. It's like a normal thing. Today this one is kidnapped, tomorrow this one is kidnapped. It's so it's so terrible. And to show you that this government actually know what they are doing, you leave the real problem. And you're chasing after um agitators, you're chasing after Namdekan. Is Namdekan your problem? Is Sunday Iboho your problem? Are these people that are looking for self-determination on how to free their people your problem? That is it. I don't know how we got to this point where cows are now more important than human beings. The same cows that human beings consume because I do not see where cow eat cow. And I do not see where cow are, are, can do any other thing. Eh? No regard for, for human life again in Nigeria. With that, this is where we are. It's a very funny video and it's a, it's a video to reflect the true reality of what is happening now in Nigeria. That is it today on Reason We Queen. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, and on you on Facebook. And the code is BVI Channel One. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to share my videos. And all these people that used to comment one thing or the other, you better be commenting nice thing. Because I'm the law law BVI. If you don't want me to, you know, sack you, <laughs> don't mind me. That's on the light and note. But please don't forget to, you know, share, like, and comment. I love reading your comments, actually. I really love reading them. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Bring them on. Thank you. See you next time.